See how the other half lives. <laughs> we don't. Cool, oh, blimey, you've been making a lot of phone calls lately, Sam. I've been phoning around for a job, and this machine of yours only seems to give you 30 seconds for 20p. Oh, sod it. <sighs> you sure you're charging me the uh, proper telecom rates? Well, you can always apply for your own blower, can't you, if you don't like the service I provide? Mind you, BT, I want to see your rent book, you know, make sure you're a safe prospect. <sighs> Greasy here on my paintwork. Yeah. Yeah. Eleanor, make a cup of tea, sweetheart. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint you, Bernie. The dirt's gone. <laughs> well, you know what your problem is, Martin, don't you? What, besides having no job, no money, an old man who thinks he knows it all, and a raging headache? No, I ain't got a clue. Unless he's living in a slum. Is that the answer, Bernie? No. Your problem, Martin, is you're a bad manager. Oh, be fair, Pop. I mean, he's a bad manager. He could be running the England team. <laughs> I'll be a bad manager. I ain't got nothing to manage. Well, all I know is Lucy and me have only got our pensions, and we do very nicely. She's always buying me little presents, always puts meat on the table. Nice box of that Tesco's muscadette on the sideboard. I'm surprised you haven't been featured in Hello. <laughs> <laughs> is Charlotte Bronte any good, Eleanor? Uh, we're studying the grey level. Uh huh. What else has Jane Eyre written? You <laughs> Charlotte Bronte wrote Jane here, not the other way round. Albert knows that, Martin. He's just sending you up. Thank you, darling. No, he ain't, look. <laughs> I mean, you're always sticking up for him, ain't you? I don't always. Only when he's right, which yeah. happens to me more often than not. More often than me, that's what you mean, is there it? You yeah. Here, Martin, uh, you've been on holiday to the, uh, old grave, haven't you? <laughs> Could he possibly mean the Algarve? <laughs> oh, yeah, in a former life. Yeah, any good, is it? Only me and Lucy are thinking of going there for a fortnight. I thought I might take up that golf. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you'll have a lovely time. We always did. Mind you, babe. Well, you get a few of the drinks out there this time of the year. Oh, yeah, well, we'll give them a wide berth, yeah. <laughs> Did it cost him much, Pop? No, 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 we're going to one of them pensioners' packages. Mind you, I said to Lucy, next time she wants a pensioners' package, I've got one down my stride, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit strong. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mind, Grandpa. In some ways, I find your vulgarity almost refreshing. See? If only I could reconcile myself to living in this foyer to hell, I could perhaps be as content as you with my woeful lot. You're welcome, girl. <laughs> Eleanor, it's not as bad as all that, is it? On what do you base that assertion? The fact that none of us has yet contracted cholera? <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's wrong? You're never usually this miserable, especially when Jojo's out. Sorry, I'm not qualified to discuss the niceties of clinical depression, Mummy. Wait, do you want to click round the hero? Oh, yes, please, Daddy, the very thing! That's right, son. Don't you let your kids talk to you like that. You mind your own business, you. <laughs> what's the matter, Dad? Oh, it's the exchange visit, Daddy, if you must know. Oh, no. That hasn't come round already, has it? What? Michelle, a pen pal. Eleanor went to stay with her in Paris last Easter. And she was due to come and stay with me next week. Oh, oh God. Well, why are you so put out? Have you gone off, her, love? No. So I got a lovely letter from her yesterday, and she says she's so looking forward to staying in our beautiful house in the leafy outer suburbs. So different from her cramped, if chic little apartment in the seventh arrondissement. We can't have no guest. I mean, we're only just about feeding ourselves. Oh, God, I'd die of embarrassment. You, you die? How do you think I would feel? I'd never show my face on the Champs Elysees again. <laughs> What's the problem? You're all in agreement for once. Just tell the frog the trip's all. <laughs> to reciprocate. Look, Eleanor. Don't make such a song and dance about it, lovely. You and Michelle can come and stay with your Auntie Prudence and me, all right? We've got plenty of room. 
Oh, and Eleanor can make out she's been adopted, does that? <laughs> oh, brilliant. That would work. Perfect. Over my dead body. No, no, no sense in it, love. You see, the kid's embarrassed by you. It's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> If it's all right with you, love, and she wants to go and stay with her Uncle Albert, she wants to tell this French bird that we've gone on a long family holiday. Where to? Yeah, they can pretend they've all come to the old guard <laughs> with us. <laughs> How about a lap? Hey, what? <laughs> it's in Israel, you know, the Dead Sea. Prudence and I think they're going near Christmas. Yeah, I thought I was coming to you Christmas. Did ya? <laughs> Please, Mummy. OK. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Uncle Albert. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank I must go and tell Michelle the good news. Shall I give her a quick ring? No, right to her. It's cheaper. <laughs> well, it's always nice to do so many a good turn. Come on, Pop, I'll run you over. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's all right, love. Prince is dragging me out to another one of these charity do's. There you go. Mwah. Liza Minnelli this time. £500 a ticket. Still, you know me. Anything for charity. See you, brother. Why does he do that to me? I mean, he knows I love Liza Minnelli. But it's Prue, not him. You know that. I know I can't take much more of this excuse for a life, love. I've got to do something. Is it? Yes. Sorry to keep you. Only I've just been throwing a blind widow out on the street for non-payment of TV licence. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Actually, I was boffing the secretary in lieu of wages. <laughs> you done this sort of thing before? What boffed your secretary? I don't know. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, when I had a shop, I sometimes had to get tough with recalcitrant accounts. And... What? And you used to give them a good slap, did you? No, I used to hit him with a solicitor's letter. Oh, we sometimes have to hit him with something a bit harder than a letter. <laughs> Still, you've got a good pair of shoulders on you. <laughs> they are yours. No, I'm looking after him for a fat and a whip bread. <laughs> but Mr Blackbird... Hello? No, tell him I'm busy, I'll call him back. Right. Mr Blackbird, I'm not here because I feel this is my vocation, you know? No, of course not. Uh, you're a nice, honest bloke who's been recessed and you want to make a semi-legal buck. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll put you on trial. There's your list. It's 30 quid a night, cash in hand, bring your own pickaxe handle. <laughs> that is a joke. <laughs> Usually. Look, I'm not into violence. Look, all that matters is results, Michael. Martin. Martin. Like you said, it's not a career for life. Oh, we're all doing it because we can't do what we really want to do. <laughs> I mean, what do you think I used to be? A pimp. <laughs> Worse, a rock and roll promoter. Had a nice business, too, till Live Aid. <laughs> then suddenly every bloody gig's for charity. Put me right out of business. Look, Mr Blackbird, as much as I like to sit here all night feeling sorry for you, I'm a bit tied up at the moment feeling sorry for myself. But anyway, look, I really appreciate it. Hello? Yeah? Well, how much do you owe you, then? Oh, really? Another autograph hunter. I should never have done that coffee commercial. <laughs> no, no, no. I saw you in that egg bone play out west. You were brilliant. Oh, did you really think so, darling? Oh, I'll get my pen. And your checkbook. <laughs> well, I've come about the bill you seem to have forgotten to pay five times. I beg your pardon? Well, I'm from the collection agency and Ironically, you owe £475 on a television set for... Uh, 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 no, the shop uh, promised me that set for nothing if... if I did a personal appearance. <laughs> did they? Yes. Well, it sounds like they've been telling you porkies. If you want to take my advice, cough up and worry about the fee later. 
Otherwise, you might be doing a personal appearance down the magistrate's court. <laughs> Michelle! Michelle, bonjour! Is that her? Are you sure she's only 17? Albert. Enchanté. Oh, you speak French. <laughs> One word, that was it. Do you have a bon voyage? Uh, pas mal. <laughs> J'ai une bonne nouvelle pour toi. Maintenant, j'habite avec ma tante et mon oncle dans un bel appartement à mes faire. Oh, mais ta famille, tes parents? Oh, je voulais te créer, mais j'arrivais pas. Les larmes faisant couler l'encre. Tu t'es enfoui de la maison? Pire. Il y avait un accident de voiture. Un horrible accident. Mes parents sont morts. Oh, pauvre Jojo, elle n'est plus de temps à mourir. Oh, elle est morte, non Quelle horreur Oh, she's just pleased to see me. No, 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 that's no good at all. Look, if you can get me dire straits as well as Bruce Springsteen, I can guarantee seven nights at Wembley and a week at Birmingham. Yeah, great. Yeah. Well, if, if Prince wants to come along and have a jam, that sounds cool to me. What? Charles and I as guests of honour? More chance of getting the Beatles back together. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, all right. Well, we'll catch you later then, Guy. What, are you getting back in the rock, Biz? Nah, phone one switched on. <laughs> My therapist just said it's good to fantasise. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I'll fantasise sometimes. I've got a proper job in an house. No, you will have one day. Don't worry. No, I did have. Had it all. Lost it. Yeah, well, dream on, my son. I am impressed, Michael. You've done well. And you didn't have to get heavy with anyone? No, I just, well, sort of used me charm. <laughs> And you got to check out that snotty coffee advert tart. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> Get anything else out of her? <laughs> you know. No, we conducted our negotiations on the doorstep. Oh, good. Because uh, normally she entices them in for a handful of coffee beans <laughs> and all they come out with is a broad grin. <laughs> right. Here's your money. Now, are you ready for promotion to the Premier League? Well, what does that entail? It entails difficult buggers and bigger debts. You get 50 notes a night, and we supply the pickaxe out of it. Well, done. Here's your list. They're all local. You choose the ones you fancy. Tell me about this one. Oh, oh shit. Oh, hello, Martin. Well, this is an unexpected honour. All right, Dad. Would you take a wrong turn in at the lights, did you, son? Oh, no, you couldn't have done. You haven't got a car, have you? <laughs> I just thought I'd pop in and see you, Dad. Is Lucy about? No, no, she's late night shopping. She loves buying me things. That's good, because I want to have a little talk with you on your tour. Oh, you're not on the ear hole again, are you? No, Dad. As it happens, I've got myself a little job. Oh, this calls for a celebration. Fancy a beer? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Right, I'll get me jacket. We'll pop up the club. Your shout. Dad, <laughs> what I've got to say to you, I'd much rather say in private. Well, all you've got to say is I'll have a pint and a large scotch for the old man. Dad! <laughs> all right, all right. Hang on. That too. I'd like to keep her clear, Ed. Made it nice, is she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a video? Yeah, it's one of them Nickham stereos, whatever that means. <laughs> oh, renting it, are you? No, 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 she's bought it. She don't like owing money. Oh, no? <laughs> and there comes she owes three and a half grand to assorted credit card companies in. You what? Look, Dad. I've got myself a job as a debt collector. You're winding me up. Debt collecting? That's worse than being a copper's knock that. He's gone piss all over. I'm just trying to help you. Oh, yeah? And the band played. Look, it's no coincidence that sent me round here. Of course it ain't. I ain't stupid. You sorted us out, didn't you? You must have been hugging yourself when you see Lucy's name on some poxy list or whatever you thought. I'll teach her and nick in my old dad. Look, I pulled her name off that poxy list. Because if she don't start answering their letters and stop flashing their plastic like she's Alan Wicker, it won't be me they'll be sending round. It'll be Reggie and Ronnie Rockwell when they're performing knuckle dusters. Oh, I can hold me own. Yeah, if they come round, you will. One in each hand. <laughs> what are you talking about refusing to answer letters? What letters? Begging letters. Hey? Look, letters from Axis and Visa. 
an assorted HP companies begging her to stop. Oh, never, never. Exactly. <laughs> what a stupid cow. I wonder where she was getting all the money from these ugly, bleeding, dust-collecting China horses she cut the place up with. I've got nowhere to put me bowls trophies. <laughs> yeah. She must be one of them shopperolics. I heard about it on Woman's Hour the other morning. Now it's like a sort of disease, like alcoholism or piles and that. <laughs> someone who suffers with it, they have to treat him sympathy and understand it. That's right, Dave. Yeah, well, I'll knock her stupid block off when she comes through that door. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I'm a good morning. Move back to me. No, the... no, no, Dave. You see, what she, what she needs is, well, for a pair of you to talk this problem through. And she's a good woman. She certainly brightened your life up. I mean... You mean I can't move back to my own drum because you're squatting there? <laughs> and I've got to spend the rest of me natural with an head case. Well, look on the bright side of things, Dad. Maybe she'd go to prison. Oh, yeah, there is that, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> you are like the old bastard. Here's a woman that's taken you in. Too right she's taken me in. Give you an own, fed you, smartened you up, fulfilled your... Physical needs, as you're always telling me. I mean, all you got to do is give me a check. Oh, yeah, where am I going to find three grand? Well, have a look in your building society book. Unless you've already moved it to a number to count in the Lichtenstein. Well, don't come the old acid with me, son. I mean, I've worked hard for that money. Keep <laughs> going. <laughs> Leave this to me. Ooh. Hello, Martin. Oh, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> All right, Luce. <laughs> oh. Had a good shop, have we? <laughs> oh, yes, not bad. <laughs> I've got you something nice. These are on special offer at Mark. 100% cotton, double cuffs, mother of pearl buttons, and proper collar stiffness. Oh, yeah, just the sort of thing to wear down the bookies, eh? <laughs> I bet they was a real bargain at all, weren't they? Yes, cos they're usually 25 quid each, but they were knocking them out at 100 quid for five. Five? <laughs> when am I going to wear poncy shirts like that with double bloody cuffs? I don't even own a pair of cufflinks. Surprise! <laughs> I couldn't decide between the gold ones or the enamel ones with your initials on it. I don't believe this is stupid, out of control thing! I think they... you're the one that's out of control, don't you? Look, Lucy, I'm sorry. But you see, I've been sent round here by a debt collecting agency. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh, God. That's nice, isn't it? Now, look what you've been and gone. Well, you don't want to call her an egg case. Yeah, well, that was behind her back. Oh, so it makes it all right, does it? I, I just. I just want nice things. <laughs> oh, look, come on, girl. Look, worse things happen at sea. Now, look, now, look, look, wipe your eyes, you silly bitch. <laughs> I won't let them send you to prison. Prison? So you're going to pay her debt then? I need all. I thought I could be a sort of character witness. Dead character witnesses are usually upstanding members of the community. Not retired London transport ticket collectors living in Simony accused in Stoke Newington. <laughs> I know I've been stupid. I, I just wanted to make a lovely home for my bonzo. <laughs> bonzo? That's what she calls me. Oh, yeah. Cos I know you're not allowed to keep a dog in a council flat. Well, I don't know. I kept your mother for first. Now, don't start there! <laughs> yes, that was very naughty, Bonzo. She was the boy's mother. You should respect her memory. Thank you very much, Lucy. I suppose I shall have to sell this now. My Dave bought me this back in 1956 when we got engaged on his embarkation leave before Suez. It's all I've got left of him now, he's gone. Oh, Lucy, please. Oh, he don't like it, your dad. <laughs> he doesn't understand how I can cherish the memory of my Dave and love Bonzo, too. Well, it is pretty incredible, Luce. What? Loving a chap who died in 1988? No. Loving an old toss pot like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, before Mantovani comes in with his simpering strings and arts and flowers, What's the absolute minimum you'll take to get them all for her back? Yeah. What are you listening to? Eh? Hey? What are you listening to? Easy Does It, featuring DJ Hot Pepper with guest vocalist Sexy Sadie. Can I? <laughs> Do you like this? 
The question is not, do I like it? The question is, do you hate it? Of course I hate it. It's horrible. Then I like it. <laughs> you see, Mum, the main purpose of pop music is to allow the new generation to identify with a social icon that is inaccessible to their parents. Yeah, I know. You and Dad think that Eleanor's the one with all the brains. Never occurred to either of you that I could be a brilliant dilettante, did it? <laughs> oi, oi! Where's my tea, girls? I'm famished. We ate it. What? You were due home at half past seven. At half eight, we decided you'd abandon us, so we ate your shepherd's pie. Oh, I see. So you thought I'd done a run and changed my name and joined the Foreign Legion, eh? <laughs> well, I would if they accepted women. Sorry, love. I think there might be some spaghetti hoops in the mm. cupboard. Well, don't worry about that. I've had a right result. We're on our way back up. We are? What do you think that is, then? Mets? <laughs> Proper wine. Get some glasses, please. Yep, I think the day I had my best day since I lost the shop, Blackbird paid me cash in hand and promoted me to the A-team. Martin! Yeah. Oh. And tonight, I jolly 300 quid out of one of their toughest cases. Yeah. I'm indulging the Chinese later on. <laughs> Jojo, get your earmuffs off. Have a drink, we're celebrating. What? Today, I think we took our first steps on the road back to Etching. Oh. And respectability. Oh, get real, Dad. Get what? So you've landed a bit of casual work as a small-time enforcer. If that's the first step back to respectability, we'll still be walking in 100 years' time. <laughs> Jojo, go to your room. Why? Well, because your mother said so. And how's that going to help raise the standard of intellectual debate round here? She been at the asshole solvents? <laughs> Maybe I'm just blossoming. Being an only child suits me. Perhaps you should get Albert and Prudence to hang on to Eleanor. That's right out of order, Jojo. Is it? Then why isn't Eleanor here too, to share this warm family moment? Do you know why not? Yeah, because you two are ashamed of yourselves. No, we're not. We're just ashamed of living in this dump. Oh, same difference. Look, this is going to be our home for the foreseeable future, right? I mean, let's face it. We'll still be living here when Eleanor and me go to university. You? <laughs> yeah, me. So, do you want us to be ashamed of being a bloke home? Do you want us to take him out to Uncle Albert's and tell him porkies about Mummy and Daddy being on some business trip to Japan? No, I don't have to listen to this. You can always go to your room. She's got no right to talk to me like this. Of course she hasn't. But she's right, Martin. Yeah, I know. Thank you. We should have had that Michelle here to stay. We'd have managed somehow. Do you reckon? Yes. Oh, Eleanor would have been suicidal, though. Yeah, there is that to it. <laughs> oh, Madame Sweet, must you cook that? Well, I'm sorry, Michelle, but Mr. Sweet likes a bacon sandwich every morning. Oh, big alas. I know it's disgusting, but it's part of his working class culture. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, not in the kitchen, thank you. Oh, forgive me. It's <laughs> all right. Albert! What's a nightmare? It was so vivid. Yes, but it was just a dream. It's all over now. It was a dream of reality. Your reality. Her English is ever so good, isn't it, Auntie Prue? Now, Michelle, I've been thinking, why don't we go to Harrods today? Ah, oh, that smells good. Morning, young ladies. Mwah. Mwah. Ah. You look a bit tired, Michelle. You two didn't sneak off to an all-night rave, did you, after we got to bed? No, she had a terrible nightmare. Still, never mind. Oh, you know what? We could go to the Victoria and Albert Museum. Perhaps you'd feel better if you told us about it. Oh, no, I don't think so, Auntie Queen. <laughs> it was about Eleanor's parents. Really? She told you? Oh, yes, she told me of their awful fate. Yeah, well, it was a bit of a choker, but, you know, that's life. That's life? Is that the British sang froid I hear so much about? Sang froid? It means cold blood, darling, you know, stiff upper lip. Ah. Yeah, in this country, Michelle, we don't believe in dwelling on things. Say la vie, I'd never have uh, told you if I'd thought you'd be so upset. But tell me, Mr. Sweet, for you to be so cavalier when such a tragedy happens to your own brother. Well, you know, it was a shame, but... A shame? I tried to warn him, but he wouldn't listen to me. And anyway, you know, he wasn't the only one that was burned in the crash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, you know... 
Oh, she's a bit highly strung, isn't she? No, I think she's, um, I think she's just got an overactive imagination. I'll just go and see if she's all right. Eleanor. Mm. She isn't really upset over your father's business problems, is she? Isn't she? <laughs> you didn't tell her your parents were on holiday, did you? Well, I told her they'd gone somewhere. Where? Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I hate Finsbury Park. You both know that. Oh, I just wish they'd disappear and then I could stay here forever. <laughs> you told her they were gilded a car crash, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Might have done. Oh, dear. No wonder she thought I was a bit hard-hearted. Oh, God, Eleanor, that's terrible. <laughs> it's a bit, bit much, Ellie. Mind you, I can't understand your motives. I mean, I used to tell people my dad had been tortured by the North Koreans and that's what had sent him do Lally. It was easier than trying to explain he was allergic to deodorant. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, be that as it may, darling, I really think Eleanor must go and tell Michelle the truth. Oh, 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 Auntie Prue, oh, please, no, I, I can't. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, but, but can't I at least revert to the story about the holiday in too, England? Too late now. as bad as they seem. No, of course not. You're psychopaths, that's all. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um, look, oh, may I? You see, the thing is, Uncle Albert was so devastated by the car crash that, well, all he can do is to make jokes about it. I mean, I'm sorry, I should have warned you. Um, it's like in the war. You know, a sort of shell shock. Oh, I see. Exactly. So, so Auntie Prue and I try to humour him. I mean, I, I should have told you. If you hadn't have had your bad dream, then, well, things might not have... Oh, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's not. Honestly, it, it's just that, well, as long as no one mentions it again, then everything will be all right. I mean, Uncle, Uncle Albert would never dream of bringing it up himself. OK, I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must look terrible. Excuse me. Hello? Michelle. Hello, sweetie pie. Uh, we are Eleanor's parents. <laughs> this is Jojo, her uh, sister. Bonjour. But Eleanor told me you would... Uh, that's right. We've been away. Oh, oh, yeah, but now we're back from the dead... Oi. <laughs> see? It's a long story. You see, her parents were drowned in a boating accident. <laughs> <laughs> 